Hi pals, this week on Go With The Heat, your enthusiast guide to Miami Vice, we review part two of The Prodigal Son and finish the second season premiere. On this week in Vice, we'll be looking back at the same week, but dig a little deeper into the archives from September 22nd to September 28th, 1985, when Miami Vice was king. In news, on September 27th, Hurricane Gloria makes landfall in North Carolina and would slowly work up the northeastern seaboard of the U.S. and Canada. Hurricane Gloria would cause $900 million in damage and claim the lives of 14 people. It was the first hurricane to strike the northeast since Hurricane Donna in 1960. In music, at number 7 on the U.S. Hot 100 is the cover song Dancing in the Street from megastars Mick Jagger and David Bowie. Prepared for the charity concert Live Aid, all the proceeds were donated to relief funds for the ongoing famine in Africa. The music video was classic 80s and worth a watch to remember the hero we lost this year in David Bowie. At the box office, last week I mentioned Back to the Future, Better Off Dead, and Teen Wolf, so I'm stretching a little here. Ending its run in theaters is the ninja action film American Ninja. As a connoisseur of bad movies, this is one of my favorites. The film stars Michael Dudikoff as the ninja badass Joe Armstrong. Directed by Sam Furstenberg, who perfected this genre, the film would gross over $10 million at the box office and would go on to have four sequels. Who is he? I don't know. He's a new recruit. I don't even know his name. He possessed great skills. And that's everything you need to know that was happening when Miami Vice was king. Join us on the Go With The Heat podcast as we've just started season two and have introduced a new host. That's all for this week. Bye, pals.